Cecily, tiny now with that AccuWeather forecast and the AccuWeather alert in effect for tomorrow. You're talking about up to four inches of rain in some spots. Yeah, and think of all the snow they got in the Poconos. Right. So we have snow melt, and I'm really concerned that it comes at the height of the evening commute. So if people can adjust their schedules, maybe yeah. get home earlier tomorrow, I yeah. really think that's a good idea. The Action Cam taking a look in Conshohocken today, where we have blue skies and sunshine. Really beautiful day, of course, in the banks of the Schuylkill River, which likely will be over overflowing its banks tomorrow night and through the day on Wednesday. And Sky 6, our live casino camera, taking a look at the Walt Whitmer Bridge. Likely a lot of travel problems tomorrow due to the flooding rain and the winds that will be picking up. So we do have a double wind. Part of the problem is that we've just gotten so much rain over the past two months. We've gotten about a foot of rain, so the ground is saturated. So when the rain really starts to pick up in intensity tomorrow evening, this is when the flooding will happen very quickly. It's going to be dark, so that creates even more danger. In addition to that, we get a squall line that will be pushing through. Likely a lot of trees will be downed. Also, since the roots really can't take hold because the ground is so saturated. So we've got the flooding. We've got the wind satellite and radar showing. One thing we won't get, though, is the snow. There's some heavy snow in the northwest flank of the storm, but the storm itself will be heading up across the Great Lakes. Great Lakes Cutter, so that pulls in a lot of very mild air. So no threat of any icing or any accumulating snow future tracker showing it's just cloudy for the morning commute. No problem that rain will be here by lunchtime, perhaps some brief icing in the Poconos before a change over to rain even there, and then it is simply pouring at five o'clock tomorrow evening and then later in the evening. This is when we get that squall line with the heaviest downpours with the highest winds It's all out of here after midnight and Wednesday morning. We get a batch of some lingering showers, but Wednesday morning is when I really think the flooding will be the worst as far as the rain. Very good consensus between all the computer models we're looking at. Generally about two to three inches in Philadelphia. Some areas could get up to four inches. So the flood risk, not just streets and poor drainage areas, also creeks and streams and major rivers and rivers. They're the last to flood, but they're also the last to recede. Then the winds future tracker showing the winds picking up through the day by five o'clock. Those winds gusting around 40 miles per hour. But then later in the evening, this is when we get the wind that could be more than 60 miles an hour along the shore. So this is why we have that big concern about the risk of power outages. Now the coastal flooding along the ocean doesn't look to be all that bad. Generally, it'll be minor. The problem, though, is going to be tidal flooding. That water is pushed right up the Delaware, so that tidal flooding likely will be at least moderate right through Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday. So the exclusive AccuWeather seven day forecast. We do have an accurate alert for Tuesday that heavy rain. I think the worst of it between about three o'clock in the afternoon, one o'clock in the morning. The winds picking up the high 52 degrees Wednesday morning showers, residual flooding. It's a windy day with a high of 50 degrees Thursday pick of the week. 50 degrees with sunshine. Enjoy it because you know every three days Friday increasing cloud. Rain arriving late 49 degrees a high. It looks like it could be heavy enough that we could have another flood concern on Friday. Let it stop. So we have issued an accurate alert for that Saturday lingering rain windy and then behind the system. We have some very cold air temperatures dropping down into the 30s on Sunday and Monday. So again, prepare for flooding and power outages. I will have an update on Action News at 11. Yeah, be sure to check in with us tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. We'll be right in the thick of this. Absolutely. Thing. Okay, Cecily, thank you.